Hello, I'm Cole Malwin, and I'm here again, this time with a pomegranate. There's a little bit of a dilemma with a pomegranate. Most people, they enjoy them, enjoy pomegranate juice and everything from cocktails to salads, yet they've never opened one up. There is kind of an alien look to them, and also there's a little bit of a danger. They're kind of like a grenade. You cut them open, you open them up, and stuff flies out and makes a mess. So what I found the best way to remove the arils, that's the little seeds, from the pomegranate and from the pulp that surrounds them is to first cut off one end. You don't want to cut off too much or you'll get a bunch of the arils pop. See, that's the arils. And you can see how they could make a mess. Um, then you score it anywhere from four to six times. I think I'm going to do six today just for fun. And we have this water here, so we can separate the seeds from the pulp. The pulp floats, the seeds being basically filled with a sugar syrup. Sink. Very, very useful. See, they come apart. Isn't it pretty? And you can get these little seeds out. And this is why you don't do this above water. One of these seeds... Ah, ah wait! Safety. Um, one of these seeds... When you pop it, stuff flies out. But underwater, you're safe from all of that. The pomegranates played a role in several mythologies. They originate from the area around Persia, or what was Persia. Um, and they feature prominently in Greek mythology. If anyone's ever heard of the myth of Hades and Persephone, you know of it. And these little seeds, the arils, can be eaten either just as they are, or you can juice them, stick them in a blender, and then strain out the pulpy bits. Um, you can put in everything. I've seen them in guacamole, even. Nice little crunch, put them in whipped cream. A lot of people, they just kind of crush it and then spit out the seed, but part of the, part of the um, health benefits, a lot of the health benefits come from the seed. They have all sorts of things. Um, vitamin E, vitamin C, vitamin B6, niacin, um, and some antioxidants. So to pick your perfect pomegranate, there's a couple of things you have to make sure of. The first is that it's firm. It should be firm, heavy for its size, and the skin should be tight. It shouldn't be wrinkled, and there shouldn't be any major blemishes. Another thing that's very important is that there's no rot here or here. It's okay if they're kind of brown like this one, but if they're all kind of nasty looking, it's no go. This is the results of our pomegranates, a lovely bowl of arrows. They are quite delicious, just as is. But you can mix them in with whatever. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>